we have brought all the communities that live around the lake and asked them to be able to, to join us and stand up. This is a fight for our livelihoods. It's not, it's not, we have no option after today, after the lake dries out. We have to keep fighting for the lake. We have to, we have to keep campaigning that the Giba 3 project, which is being built on the Oma River, is stopped. But in many cases, we understood our problems, but somebody else came with solutions. So those need to go back home and educate people and sit down and engage each other on a, on a local level, on a, on, a, on a level of we, not on a level of you telling us. I've watched how the environment within the Turkana region has, has gotten worse. The, the drought has gotten worse and our livelihoods are basically being wiped out. This is not a Turkana issue, it's, it's a national issue, it's an international issue because environment is an international issue and water is an international issue. I mean, Butros, Butros Gadi say people fight for oil but in actual sense in a few years people will fight for water and this this is like one of the best examples of a water war. We have, we have no other way to go. We have to stand up and actually face this fight head on and work with what we have. Mm -hmm.